walk through the shadow of the valley of death i shall fear no evil that's what the song says i would like to welcome you to gospel news as a a show that brings you the latest news and events in the gospel circle my name is 
as you know that every Saturdays and Sundays, we have promised to bring you your most favorite artists just to get to know them better and also try to catch up on finding out what they've been busy with during this lockdown. Today, we have an amazing, amazing guest artist by the name Muzim Tebele, who is originally from Swaziland and was born there and later came to South Africa to pursue his career. Mr. Muzi, welcome to just, uh, to, to Gospel News as A. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much, Sisiki. Yeah, I'm so happy to be here today and greetings to everybody at home. I'm so excited. Yay. <laughs> so listen, I'm not even going to um, take your spotlight. I just want to get straight into it. And I want to know from you, please just tell us a little bit about yourself, your personal journey uh, up until you became Minister of Music. Okay. Um, as some of you know at home, my name is Muzim Zebele. I'm originally born uh, in Swaziland. So I'm a child of God. I'm a Christian. I grew up in a church, uh, back home, family of God church under the leadership of Pastor David Mate. So uh, actually, um, Ngatini, uh, I grew up having this love for, for, for music and love for writing. So I grew up in a church where music was the thing at church. So I fell in love growing up in the church. So seeing the praise and worship team leaders and the choirs of the church participating. So I really fell in love uh, with music. So I started writing at a very early age. I'm a songwriter, I'm a singer. I started writing before I was even 14 because I joined the praise and worship mm. team when I was 14. Yeah, so um, then uh, it just happened naturally. And I think it was just in me, this gift. So I started listening to a lot of people, South African uh, artists, because I was back home in Swaziland. So I was listen listening to Sis Rebecca, Malope, Abo Abolundi. Those were my inspiration. I looked up a lot to those people. So I grew. And then up until I had somewhere, somehow through some um, situations, I had, to, I had to come to South Africa because my father big home suggested that I come and stay with my mother who is staying at Petri Diff in South Africa. So then mm -hmm. I came and I joined my mother there. So now South Africa, as everybody knows, is very good in music and has got a lot of talent, opportunities and whatnot. And I was yeah. like, I'm not going home again. I'm gonna stay right here and just <laughs> do the thing. So after my metric, uh, I then, cause obviously I'm a Swazi, so I couldn't pursue further my other studies because of other things. So yeah, then I decided to, my, let me just grow my, my talent. And so I started just, I can say that's where I really started taking myself seriously after realizing Guti, this is what I'm called to do and I've got nothing else to do. Wow. Yeah. Wow, that, that, is, that is very uh, super interesting. Mm. And one thing mm. that I picked up on, you mentioned that you started um, uh, songwriting before the age of 14 years. How did that yes. come about? Um, uh, is it something that came through to you uh, probably in, in a dream or were you inspired by things that were happening around you, situations around you, or even maybe things that you were seeing on, on TV? What was the inspiration behind that? Uh, my inspiration behind that was it was just like the great tunes that used to come up with Usis Rebecca. Most of the time, like uh, every time, okay, when I started writing, I would remove Sis Rebecca's lyrics on some songs and then put my lyrics. And I was like, because Aww. I was still young at that age, so I would put my own lyrics because this is how I would sing it <laughs> and all that. So I started doing it that way because I had the I had the message, but I would write mostly about situations because you know, like when you grow up, you like. So I would write mostly about situations and, and the love of God and all that. So with the melody, I had to listen much to music, a lot uh, to music. So I started now having those kind of tunes, melodies to say, now I can write my own melody. I don't have to remove this Rebecca's lyrics and then do my thing. Yeah. Hmm. So it, that's that is very started. interesting. Yeah. And, yeah. and I feel that you, you, you also mentioned that um, because of certain things that, that, that happened, um, what is it that you would have liked to uh, pursue career-wise um, if, if uh, music wasn't the only option that you had at the time because of situations? Okay. Um, what I would have, would have loved to do mostly is um, business management and also human resource because those were 
the kind of things that I was that, that I liked so much when I was still at school studying your know, accounting, your know, economics, your business studies. So those were my subjects, and I was excelling on them. And I was like, oh God, like if nothing happens musically, this is what I'm going to pursue. Uh, but unfortunately, God was like, no, not for now. Like just just do this thing, just do music. Yeah. So HR, yeah. and, uh, of course, yeah. And business management, and also yeah. that, that that would have really, really helped you in the line of yeah. work um, that that you're doing right now, because also the business side of it is also very important, isn't it? It's very important. Yes, yeah, true. true. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, Mr. Mzavela, we are going to move on to the next segment um, of the show. This is a very uh, fun part now, where we are okay. really just going to be taking you back um i don't know you, said, um, <laughs> you came into south africa i think around 2009 if I'm yes not of course of course yeah of course. i don't think jam ali was there then at the time in 2009 i don't think it was there but yeah. there's a show in south africa uh, that was called jam ali so jam ali just used to have this amazing amazing game yeah. so the first game yeah. that we are going to be playing uh, uh, is gonna it consists of a box okay we're gonna display okay. a box right now on your screen um, and okay. then you are going to see the, the different uh, uh, box choices. So we call okay. it pick a box. Okay. All right. So you're going to pick All up right. any box and I'm going to answer or rather ask you a question based on the box that you have picked. Okay. Okay. So should I pick now? You can pick now. Go right around. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's first start with middle left. Middle left. Uh, middle left. So middle yeah. left says. That is a very different um, uh, choice, by the way. <laughs> but anyway, it says, in your own words, what do you think our art industry lacks that can truly transform the lives of creators? Uh, may you please repeat that uh, question again? Okay, I'm gonna repeat it. It says, in okay. your own words, what do you think that our art industry lacks that can truly transform the lives of creatives of creatives um i think uh the arts industry in south africa also like in africa we, it can really help our uh upcoming artists uh, such as us and other brothers mm -hmm. that uh, that we have through giving us more opportunities uh to come showcase our our talents like i mean gospel news is also doing that right now we, we are not known but we are being given the opportunity so i think yeah. if if the arts industry can adopt that to say like let us make things easy for for everybody let us go let us find out which bobani abakona in the townships that are doing really excelling yeah. and and bring them out there and not just put these big guns in front of them gubengazo so today is no way they can maneuver so they must create more opportunities to bring out like the best that is in the locations to say this is the opportunity you guys we want to know you um, wow. I, I think for me, yeah, yes. Absolutely. And just to get the whole gospel message across, right? Yes. Mm. Yes. Okay, so, yes, so now I'm going to give you just another opportunity now, one last chance to pick another box. Uh, when okay. We're going to get you another question. All right. Let's take top center. <laughs> top center. So yes. top center says, what is the biggest highlight so far in your ministry? Or music career uh i think so far as i got to share uh, the, the stage uh, with 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 uh, osalmist utakindo which yeah. was like the greatest highlight of my life getting to hook up with him even after performing asking me to come to his hotel room that was really amazing and so kind of him <laughs> to <laughs> get to know me better and to find out that i'm also a songwriter and by God's grace, he even said, you know what, in my next project, you need to write some songs for me and which I've done already. And I mean, that was the greatest highlight of my life so far. Oh, my word. That must have been so amazing. And um, yeah. he, he is such a, an amazing and humble oh, human such being. An amazing how, human how, being. how was yeah. that experience for you? You know, it was, it's so inexplicable. It's so wonderful. Like when he... Like when he spoke to me the first time, they were like, hey man, you are so great, you can sing. And when you were performing right at stage, I told myself sitting down there, I need to talk to this guy. And I was like, Mulumun, of course, he's a big person as we know, like he's known yeah. all over Africa, you know? So I'm like, 
could it be that God is giving me an opportunity to work with this guy? And he was like, you know what, when we get out of here, don't even go to your hotel room, come to my room and let's chill, have some oh. meal together and get to know each other. It was so amazing. I don't want to lie. It was very amazing. Oh, wow. That, that sounds yeah. amazing. That sounds amazing. <laughs> yeah. So now we're going to move on to the, the next game. Now, this okay. next game is called Spin the Wheel. Okay. Okay. So what happens here is um, we, we, we are going to display the wheel on the screen as you see it right now. Okay. So now the wheel is going to spin. Right. All right. Whenever you're ready, whenever you want to say stop, just say stop. And behind the number okay. which you're going to stop at, I'm going to ask you a question. All right. All right. Spin it. <laughs> uh, stop. Stop. Okay. 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 So we have stopped at question two. So question right. two is, what is your favorite travel destination? Uh, my favorite travel destination would have to be New York, uh, not specific, mm -hmm. okay, I don't know a specific place, but there's some guy who was in prayer, like we were in prayer this week, and when we were praying, he was like, I keep on hearing God saying New York, New York, New York, New York, and I was like, oh, no, my. I need to go there, I think that's where I need to be, so I don't know much about New York, but I'm going to start yeah. Googling my and checking it out and all that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Prepare yourself. You'll never know. Maybe that's the next plan yes. that God has for your life, you know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, when God put it in someone's heart to say, I, I hear God saying New York, New York, I don't know what it is, but when I'm praying for you, it's like New York, and I'm like, New, New York, York has to be the place. <laughs> wow, wow, that is yeah. super amazing. So we're going to spin yeah. the wheel again, and then uh, you're right. going to say stop, okay? Okay, okay. Uh, stop. Stop. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Oof. Okay. It seems it seems it's not stopping. That's probably just a little technical error. It's fine. All so I'm right. just I'm gonna ask that I please just randomly um select a question for you if that's okay with you. Awesome. Awesome. All right. And um, so what I'm gonna ask you is if you were to get an opportunity to meet the president. What is it that you would say to him? To the president? Mm -hmm. oh, okay, obviously I am a, <laughs> I am a singer. So <laughs> I'm a worshiper, I'm a songwriter. So I would really ask uh, the president to please if, if there's anything they can do for, for artists in terms of like giving them some stipends, whatever to survive the industry. We know how hectic the industry is just to have them having some some grants, those that are still coming up, who are still not there to just say, if you guys are struggling with some things, you wanna do projects, I would like to give you an opportunity to apply for funding for your project or some presentation kind of vibe. Yeah. Uh, whatever that he, he can do concerning that to just help us with the projects that we have in mind that we wanna do to say, you can apply or for, for a funding or for some grants if you have some problems there and there and then after checking whatever according to their standards what they they are going to want and then uh, then approve you i think that's all i can i could ever ask for the president the president yes yeah. indeed that's, <laughs> that's beautiful so now yeah. uh, mr Mzavela, we are we are moving now to to the last part of of our games uh, segment uh, um so now <laughs> this one, i really we, enjoyed the games <laughs> so they're actually amazing right and i'm sure yeah, viewers at home yeah. are also enjoying <laughs> Just to get to, to know you better. That's amazing. Um, yeah. we, we, are, we now have um, uh, the next game uh, that consists of six words, right? Now, out of these okay. six words, you are going to pick one song. Um, this part of the game is called Sing a Song. So you can pick any uh, word uh, that you can sing any song uh, with uh, either in Zulu, Tswana, any language, whichever language that you're comfortable with. One word. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, let's do faithfulness. <laughs> faithfulness. <laughs> let's do faithfulness. <laughs> you know, I know. I think, 
I think we should actually just get rid of this word, but we can't yeah. because God is faithful on a daily basis. Right? Yeah, God is faithful. Yeah. God is faithful. <laughs> faithful. Let's God go. Faithful. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All that I need that thy grace has provided. Great is thy faithfulness, dear Lord, unto thee. Hallelujah. Oh, that is beautiful, guys. That is Mijin Zabele. Please go and search for him everywhere. And also, please do not forget to follow all of our social media platforms at Gospel yeah. News of A across all platforms. Please also do get in touch with us. Um, engage with us on the comment sections. We want to hear from you. We want to hear those questions. Um, Mr. Zabele is ready to answer any question you have. Any question yeah. whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now um, I just I just want to uh, ask you, what are uh, some of the struggles that you 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 have come across, you know, um, in this journey as 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 we've been pursuing it? Okay, one of the challenges that I that I think I've really faced so much in my in my journey, it has been the challenge of it's so hard to deal with. Uh, opinions of, of, of people regarding your calling and regarding your ministry. Um, and for me, that has been the hardest thing to do because we are growing up and we are young. There are so many things that are inspiring us. And there are so many artists that are inspiring us. So you find that you wanna do a project and when you wanna write certain songs and have a specific sound, say a contemporary sound, whatever in an African country, you're trying to do something different. And people will be like, no, you can't do that. You will never succeed. You, can, you will never be like this. You'll never be like this. And of which really, who has really inspired me much and made me believe is Dr. Dumi because I, I feel like he, wow. he did the most outstanding um, job in, in terms of inspiring us as young people to say, you don't have to really do Zulu or African vibe or whatever, but whatever you are convicted in your heart to say, this is what I want to do. You can do it as long as you believe. So it has been so hard sometimes because this, we are young, we want approval, we want to be approved by certain people which okay, now I think you're good. And then you disregard your calling, you disregard your message because you change your message, you change your sound because somebody says, so it has been the hardest thing. So really sometimes we want to be liked so much such, such that we lose ourselves and we lose mm. even the, the, our calling and what God has for us. So it has been the greatest oh. challenge that I had to face appearing and feeling like you're not being accepted uh, for mm. who you are. Yeah. Mm. True. Oh, yes. Wow, that is, that, mm. that is a very, very deep point. And then um, what is it that you like doing besides uh, uh, music in your spare time? On my spare time, um, I like reading. Wow. I like reading. Yeah, on my spare time, I like reading. Yeah. Mm. Okay. yeah. So now, yeah. Um, since you're reading a lot, I'm sure that you have been seeing a lot of these um, gender-based violence and femicide cases. That I have been taking place. I you know, that is such a, a very, very huge pandemic. Um, what is mm. your take on that? Like, as a man, um, how do you feel about that? It's it's so really much heartbreaking because as men uh, we have mothers. Some we have mothers, obviously. We have sisters. Uh, we have sisters in the church, sisters in the community. So when you really now start seeing what men are doing to sisters, to people that they claim go to they love, and all yeah. that, it's so very much heart, heartbreaking. Like mine, aside in Lami, I don't understand what makes you to abuse. A person whom you claim you love. I don't understand what makes you even kill a person that you you claim to love. Because even mm. if no man at all, so you are facing challenges, because we see that this most of the time, which is between people, la uh, yeah. uh, it then I can't let her go. And because mm. I, I believe if you love someone, just let her go and be happy. As long as 
where she's going to be. She's going to be happy. And sometimes she might have reasons and valid yeah. reasons. And yeah. if you love her, you must get to a point where you understand Uguti, maybe she needs to be somewhere else. Other than Uguti Mubulal, and it's really so heartbreaking. So I would appeal really to the men to say, guys, no, let us stop this thing. It is not cool. It's not right. Let us not, we need to protect. We are men. So protect if we are the ones that are victimizing them. So my opinion is that let us protect the, the woman. Let us try and love. Oh, that is that is so beautiful because this is yeah. a very, very sensitive, uh, sensitive topic um, for me yes. because a lot of people are really, really uh, suffering when it comes to this. And then um, yes. all the, I know that uh, South Africa has, has been struggling with um, uh, employment. Uh, so many young people are sitting at home um, with with no jobs, you know. Yes. Um, yeah. What is it concerning that if you were to 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 now get an opportunity, I'm going to ask again, um, to speak to the president. Um, what what regarding that would you act exactly say to him or ask him? Concerning uh, job creation and stuff. Yes. Uh, again, Mr. President, if you are listening. <laughs> I would really humbly request, Mr. President, that we even create more uh, of those opportunities to develop skills in the locations, especially with the arts, because mm. I feel like there are so many, and that's the thing with arts, once you realize that you are good at something, you really want to start pursuing it and you really want to start doing it. And sometimes you find that you have little information, you just only have the skill. If it's drawing, you find that you can only draw, but there, there are no, this opportunities was okay you can come at the center and develop your skills for drawing or your skill for, for for singing or whatsoever so I, I i feel like if we can create more in the locations in the teacher vocally and employ with people from churches at whom our praise and worship team maybe leaders laba 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 direct tell music was maybe employed in those different places to say if you are talented and you want to grow your talent you can come and then but ba, ba, ba teach way in that in that way to just develop their skill and be taught about the industry and stuff yeah yeah absolutely yeah. absolutely yeah. and uh i mean we've we've been locked down we've been locked down we know some of the people <laughs> are already out there doesn't really feel yeah. like a lockdown because people are yeah. going around but um are there any projects uh i i love the song um that 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 we, we entered the show with oh, today. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so song. much. It's, thank it's you. It's an amazing song. Uh, are, are there any uh, projects that you are working on? What is it that uh, any of our viewers can expect from you? Uh, okay, at the current moment, since everybody knows that Asham is still new, but yeah. the great news are uh, we are already, we have already done, I'm done actually writing my songs for my upcoming EP which by God's grace, I believe we'll see somewhere October, we're going to record it. And what's going to be nice about this EP is that we're going to be recording a live audio and live live visuals in studio. So mm. I'm going to, yeah, I'm just going to try and offer you some more content to watch on YouTube, to watch on other channels that Ngulungulas is really my opportunities to do. So you can just expect some spontaneous kind of worship beautiful songs. I'm a songwriter. So I'm oh. pleading at home that as you wait for that, please pray for me. We know with the lockdown, there are so many challenges that we're encountering. So do pray and uh, and believe me, you, you're you going to be excited about this next coming project. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, we we have a beautiful comment here from uh, Kuli Lenkambule who says yes. she's from Swaziland. And she says, on behalf of all Swazis, we love yes. you. May God ah. bless your ministry. <laughs> no, thank you so much, Sis Kulile. I do love you too. And I love you back home, everybody. Oh, that is such a yeah. beautiful thing. Yes. yes. And then um, now, listen, I, I think we, we have also so, so many discouraged um, individuals, young and old. You know, um, people yeah. have, have come face to face with the realities that of the things that they may be going through, what would your words of encouragement be to somebody who is completely beat down and feels like they, they cannot get up? You know, what would yeah. be your words of encouragement to them? Okay, my encouragement to everybody who is at home going through some serious challenges and never even thinking that they will ever rise, 
I would advise that um, there is there is nowhere there where we find strength except Gunkulunkulu, except through prayer. Because Gunkulunkulu, Lagati Tavite Kona, it's better for me, good see, Gunok Tinwele is and Jensemuntu, a man in Welles and Jenskankulunkulu, because Kulunkulu, he loves us, even if no man at all wins Agaleni, we can always come to God and and, and cry, Guye, and pray to Him to say, God, we are going through this, we are suffering this. May you help us through. So I can say to everybody who is at home going through something, could see, pray about everything. So the only thing that he needs is for you to believe and to pray. So pray and believe. Do not, uh, don't give up. Just keep on praying. Yeah. Just keep on praying. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Keeping in touch with him brings us closer to him. Um, Amen. Yes. So now, uh, where where do we find you? Where do we find you on on social media uh, platforms? You know, I mean, for the new people that may not might not be connected with you, where yes. can they find you? Okay. For now, people can uh, can find me on my on my Facebook. It's page Lami. It's Muzim Zebele. Just Muzim Zebele. And then uh, on on Instagram, it's Muzi. It's at Muzim Zebel, Outim Zebel, at Muzim Zebel. So at the current moment, Nilapo, that's where I'm updating everybody about Um Seven Zom and Wednesday so far. And we've just recently created a YouTube channel, and we're trusting God for a content that we're going to be putting out there. So people should also check that out as well. So for now, they can find me there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I, I, I have had the time yeah. of my life. Oh, you know, no, I'm just you. literally uh, getting to know you. Such a breath yes. of fresh air, and um, your music mm. is definitely something that needs to be shared across yes. the world. You know, Amen. and thank you, thank you, thank you so much, um, for, yeah. for being with us today and and giving yeah. us the time and sharing a little bit more on yourself. Yes. No, thank you so much, Siski. I'm so I I just feel sad that the interview I pay mind you. I was really enjoying myself <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> uh, i would like to thank everybody at home who is still going to watch this video and, and who has already watched the video already thank you to coastal news this work that you're doing guys is really amazing i'm so very much humbled to be featured on the show and yeah. i would like to encourage everybody again to say guys please go and check out my music as Hamdi Soto. if you haven't downloaded the song now please go and check it out thank you again gospel news and thank you to everybody at home thank you thank you yeah thank you. yeah <laughs> thank you god bless bye guys <laughs> see you next time the same time or rather next week same time yeah and um, we had such an amazing time with muzim zebele and then mm. tomorrow we have yet another amazing artist as Busiso Nzima. So we will be catching up with him. See you tomorrow, same time, 3 p.m. Bye.